In a welcome step, the Kerala High Court has laid down guidelines to provide immediate assistance to women and children who are subjected to sexual abuse. Justice Devan Ramachandran put forth 10 recommendations, including directing police to record survivors' statement at a place of their convenience rather than summoning them to the station. The recommendations also state that the survivor's statement be recorded at their house or at a place of their choice in the presence of the complainants, parents, relatives, or a social worker. The court ordered a comprehensive protocol code of conduct to provide psychological support, medical and legal assistance to sexually abused women and children. The suggestions were made following a petition filed by a survivor who alleged that they were forced by police to reach a settlement with the accused. The 10 directions in the comprehensive protocol are as follows. Number one, government should publicize the toll-free number 112 for victims to seek emergency help. Number two, victims must be encouraged to call 112 or police control room number 100 and on such intimation being received, the information should be brought to the notice of police station. Number three, trained personnel should be assigned to handle calls made by victims. Number four, on coming to know about the harassment, the police should take immediate action to contact the victim either personally or through the phone without summoning the victim to the police station. Number five, the statement of the victim must be recorded at his or her residence or in the place of his or her choice. The statement should be recorded in the presence of the victim's parents, guardians, or social worker. Number six, if the case is registered, a liaison officer should be tasked with providing protection and support to the victim. Number seven, the numbers of the one-stop crisis center and the victim rights center, which ensure treatment, counseling, and legal assistance to the victim should be provided to the victims. Number eight, these centers should be available to the victim 24 hours so that he or she can seek help at any time. Police should make sure the victim is in contact with these centers. Number nine, one-stop crisis centers and victim rights centers should offer psychological care as well as legal aid to the victim. This will encourage her to return to normal life. This should continue till trial. Number 10, the victim should be given assistance in giving a confidential statement. Victims should be educated about their rights and empowered to take action with confidence. This is an important step taken by the High Court to help the victims of sexual harassment who fall into a depressed state of mind. The court should also interfere in the cases of girls and women who are being stalked or face the threat of sexual or physical assault from a male opponent. A girl or woman who escapes from a physical or sexual assault bid is often asked to go to the police station in person and lodge a complaint when she desperately calls up the police station or pink police. The girl or woman who goes to the police station is sometimes made to wait for hours there while the station head officer attends more serious criminal cases. This is also a traumatic experience for the person who visits a police station with such a complaint for the first time. In such cases also, it will be a big solace for the complainant if the statements are recorded at her residence or in the place of her choice. Music